Welcome back. We move next here tonight to that cruise turn nightmare on board a carnival cruise ship this past weekend. Passengers told to stay inside and avoid certain areas after this fire. And all new here tonight, ABC Action News anchor Nadine Yanez is talking to a Bay Area family who tells us their vacation was ruined. We are here at Port of Tampa Bay. Everything's smooth sailing here. There's not even a cruise line in port, but we quickly learned that was not the case for some Bay Area residents on board Carnival's Freedom Cruise Ship over the weekend. This after we got an email Saturday night from one Bay Area mom worried her daughter was on a cruise ship. She said that had caught fire. Then this morning we got another email from another Bay Area mom who said that her daughter and family saved up for the trip and now Carnival is not offering them anything after this fire. This is what Morgan Letchworth and Jacob Turris woke up to after just putting their young daughters down for a nap on board Carnival's Freedom Cruise Ship Saturday afternoon. <laughs> Chaos as cell phone cameras recorded the ship's tail was on fire. Do when your ship's on fire. Immediately, like my thought is that like we need to kind of be like ready for the worst situation here. Like we're in the middle of the ocean. According to Carnival, witnesses say it was possibly a lightning strike that started the fire about 30 miles off the coast of the Bahamas. You could see people walking around with their life jackets on and everything, so it was just kind of scary. Carnival canceling Monday's cruise and Friday's cruise, saying the ship is now headed back to Freeport for repairs. It's the second time this same ship's funnel has caught fire happening back in May of 2022. Families set to sail Monday, now left stranded. We're heartbroken, we really are. Like the Red Elf family, all the way from Indiana. We wanted to see the damage, but we also just kind of wanted to take it in. Carnival now offering these families a full refund, 100% credit towards another cruise, and Red Elf says up to $200 per person for airfare. So in essence, two for the price of one. But for the families on board, like Morgan and Jacob, who said the back of the ship was shut down after the fire. There's like a seafood restaurant. They had the track closed. Um, the basketball courts and all of that closed. Carnival hasn't offered anything. Obviously, it's not their fault, but still, our vacation was kind of ruined. A Carnival spokesperson telling me once the impacted areas were cleaned of debris, the ship was fully operational. But Morgan says it's not true. They're frustrated, hoping the cruise line comps them back. We did make the best of it what we could for our kids and us, but I mean, I don't feel like I should feel the way I do after getting off of a, a vacation. I feel like I shouldn't have anxiety. Nadine Yanis, ABC Action News.